is as Toro C and my name is Toro C Phillips. Welcome to Astoria Seas. My name is Toyo C. Phillips. Astoria Seas is a talk show that addresses a variety of social issues, from the serious to the amusing, the sad, and even the controversial. My guests and I will speak on all these issues and share candid experiences that have shaped how we see things. So now it's time for me to introduce my guest for today. <sighs> She's special. She's very special. She is the very lovely, talented, opinionated lifestyle journalist, Latasha Ungube. Welcome to the show, Tash. Oh, wonderful. Hi. background on Latasha. She's worked as a lifestyle journalist with God Vanguard and This Day, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, she recently, about two years ago, launched the website about that curvylife.com, which is a website and a movement, in my opinion, aimed at empowering the African curvy community. Now, she's here to talk about health and the curvy movement. And I want to ask, a lot of people are saying the whole curvy movement thing is a disguise and they're just using it to cover up bad behavior. I know. Or, or... It's also Illuminati, <laughs> you know, what else? <laughs> but what do you have to say to that? Like it's a cover up for... To be honest, my, the short answer is to each their own, right. you know? But then if you really want to know and not like throw jabs or like have a hot fueled argument, then I would say that it's really just um, empowering people who look outside of the norm you know, and um, encouraging them to live their best lives in the bodies that they're in. It's really simple. And it's not actually just dedicated to plus size women. Right now we have all kinds of people who just feel like, you know, I just don't feel like I fit in in some way. So it's, now we're just taking like, you know, outliers, like people, everyone on the outside, just come and join our circle, you know? Yeah. It's become so much more than just a plus movement, if that makes sense. But the core of it really was, um, taking women of a plus disposition or body shape and then just telling them you're beautiful as you are. Um, you can dress the body that you have. It doesn't stop you from getting the job of your dreams or the life that you've always wanted to live. Just take it one day at a time and be confident in everything that you do. It's really simple. Okay, so from my observation of the plus size community, I see that mm -hmm. a lot of attention is given to like fashion and even self-confidence but not enough attention is given to health. Is that accurate? Well, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> you know, I can only speak on the things I know and I'm here representing ATCL, that's about that curvy life, so I cannot speak for health per se. And I guess the reason why there is more attention given to it, as you say, I don't think it's given to it, but it's easier, you know? Fashion is universal. You can appreciate style whether you're in Nigeria or in Tokyo. You don't have to be from either of those places to appreciate someone's style. So it speaks a universal language across. So does body confidence, so does body language. And what else did you mention? Yeah, um, style. Style, you know, and all of that. But health is something that is a little more personal, you know. Um, so when I can't look at you, for example, and tell what's on the inside of you. I can only see what's on the outside, which is this beautiful, stunning shell, by the way. Thank no you. homo. Um, but yes, so that's, that's what I can tell, that's what I can talk about. And because it's such an intensively personal thing, you have to be careful about boundaries with people, you right. know? A lot of people have health issues and they keep it very private. And this has nothing to do with even weight related issues, just personal. So for example, you find people going through um, strange things. You know, I once dated someone and I had no idea that he had high blood pressure. He apparently used to take a pill every single day and I would see this person every day and you know, I never knew. And one day he just told me, do you know that I have high blood pressure? I'm like, why are you telling me this? Like, cause you're going to kill me because the stress is too much. But apart from that, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but seriously, apart from that, it was like, it was funny to me because he would take a pill every day at the same time and I never knew. And this was like three months in. Do you know what I mean? So if someone can hide that, 
it tells you that people are just very private about certain things and there's things you don't encroach on i mean in the general sphere you can talk about things like you know working out and um you know eating right and stuff but then again everyone is an adult so you can't really legislate for how people should live their lives in a certain way you can only speak to a certain point personally i love I love eating healthy. I love healthy food. I love I can eat salads all day. You know, I I like a certain kind of physical activity. Not everything. I like you know treadmills. I like walking. I like aerobics. But there are certain things I just don't like doing. You know, so it's personal to everyone, and everyone's journey is just so again personal. Yeah. You have to be careful. You don't know what's brought people to this point. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know how they've gotten to where they are at that point in time. Yeah, the reason the reason why this crossed my mind though was because tons of researchers say that or, or attribute um, being plus size or how do, I, how do I say that? Link being plus size with many diseases. Like, okay, so if you're overweight or if you're this, if you're if you're this particular size, then you're prone to having diabetes or you're prone to having this or you're prone to having that. But I don't see the COVID community, or maybe I haven't done my research well, but I don't see the COVID community again saying, okay, go for regular checkups. What I see a lot of is dress for your size mm. and be confident, this is who you are, all of that. Again. Is that something that has to be addressed? Okay, but here's the thing. Um, I'm going to flip this real quick. I'm sure you go to loads of style sites. Yes. Inspiration and all of that. How many of them talk about health? Not How many, many of them, them tell you, you know, when you wake, pray, slay, go to the hospital, go for, <laughs> you know, go check your breasts on the side for lump, um, check, you know, for lumps, lumps, you know. I mean, you'll see the usual stuff is Women's Month or Cancer Awareness Month, so do all of those things. We see all of those movements. But how many of these websites, I mean, from the local ones here to the international ones, how many of them focus on? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's question. personal. I wouldn't force it on someone who was slim. Do you know what I'm saying? So why force it? On why force it? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, regarding the, the things that have been linked to, I cannot speak for or against. Do you know what I'm saying? But everybody knows their bodies and they know how their bodies feel. I would say to everyone at every point in time, go and do every kind of checkup that you can at whatever size, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's so funny, um, last year, because I was in, I was appointed um, ambassador for hepatitis last year, and um, we did this huge rally in at Ilei Fair, and we had to go out and you know, bring out people from you know, the inner city and just get them to come and get tested and stuff like that for the common types of hepatitis. And one of the tests involved doing a sugar test, and um, I actually have a video on my Instagram, I was making this horrible face because they had to take my blood and I hate drawing blood so um, the lady drew my blood and she did the test and you can, for the sugar you can tell right there and then if the person has a high sugar level, you know, and she looked at me and she's like, ah, madam, I shock you. I was like, why are you shocked? So she rude. said, no, but it's not even, ru it's not rudeness. She doesn't know any better. True. You know what I'm saying? She was like, ah, madam, I shock. I was like, why are you shocked? I've been here for about four hours under the hot sun. I've drunk nothing but water. You've been drinking um, Mirinda since I got here. <laughs> so why do you expect my sugar level to be higher than your sugar level? It doesn't make sense. Simply means you can't judge a book by its cover. You really I've can. never ever, like I've, you know, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm a really healthy person. Like I'm shocked sometimes at my, at my health level because I'm like, uh, I'm feeling some type of way. I haven't really worked out in a bit. I'm feeling, you know, heavy or something. Like, you know how you feel when you feel a certain type of way. But then, you know, you go to hospital and you're fine. Meanwhile, some people who look like the picture of good health, there's all sorts of things going on on the inside. So, you just can't tell. Mm, true. I'm loving this conversation, but we have to take a short break. Yeah. Okay, guys, do not go anywhere. I'm still here with Latasha Ngube. We'll be right back. Coming up on Astoria Seeds. People who matter to me are super important in keeping my mind set in a certain, my, my mind space positive, right. and then everything else just fades out. Take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Seas. I'm here with Latasha Ungube and we're discussing health and the curvy movement. So I want to talk about your personal story a bit. Okay. Is there, does any incident stand out 
for you where someone just exhibited like a huge amount of ignorance and you were like, you know what, I have to address this issue. Mm, I mean, there was the lady I just talked about, um, right. but that was, you know, in Ife. I'm not sure. When was I mean, this Ife incident? Just last year, um, about July, because that's um, Hepatitis Awareness Month, okay. no hep month, so that was in July. Um, let me see. I'm not sure because people who know me know better. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like people who know me, family, friends, and that's really all that matters to me, to I suppose. They know better. I'm even referring to like maybe a random on the street or some rude comment, maybe a train in London, somebody says please move, or the plane, somebody gives you said and you want to explain, um, like, listen, this is who I am. Um, <laughs> no, actually, because I'm also careful not to encroach on other people's like, Spacey. you know, space or be a nuisance, I suppose, because I hate nuisances around me. So I just try to limit it, just pack it all in, put yourself together. I guess I'm fortunate like that. I'm yeah, lucky. Yeah, because there are some horror stories. Horror, I suppose. Yeah, stories. I've heard all sorts. You yeah. know, people. You Being know, bullied in yeah, school. Yeah, absolutely. And even on the streets, things get thrown at them, and all sorts of things. So I guess you've been fortunate. Um, or maybe I've just like you know, sort of like shaped the way I want my life to go. Like regardless of how you think I should look, it doesn't really. I haven't really let it bother me too much you know um, you know people have said you can't do this or you know you can't be on TV or you can't <laughs> you know on TV now. exactly I have um, <laughs> I have one show and you know I'm starting Lamps to forward. I'm starting two new shows awesome. new projects nice. um, yeah I have um, you know worked on a runway I did that at Lagos fashion and design with yeah. um, I've broken so many barriers and I never really think about these things I suppose so it really is how you channel your life, you know, you sort of like plan out your life the way you want it to go and then just go for it. I just don't listen to the noise. People who matter to me are super important in keeping my mind set in a certain, my, my mind space positive right. and then everything else just fades out yeah so congratulations on the success of about that curvy life thank you very much um, the collaboration you had with other designers at lagos fashion and design week was mm -hmm. amazing the selfie you took on the runway girl thank you you were killing it so what and, was um, the... actually congrats on this show thank you well done thank you you know i'm your biggest cheerleader. <laughs> not gonna go there let's not go there. <laughs> not gonna go there let's not go there let's not go there let's not go there so what was the inspiration behind about that curvy life um and again a, sorry it's a fantastic name like the name is you. very catchy and i'm not just saying that to wash you i really it like took, the name. it took like four years to, to come find, up with that name. honestly i was stuck like it took that long and so it maybe it should have been much older than now but it took me so long to find a name and i absolutely refused to budge until i got a name like i couldn't even define what i wanted it to be i felt like the name would tell me everything it would just show me how to go and so I waited for a name to come and then finally it did and then I just you know my background is um, is media and I'm, I've been a writer for a long time it's actually my 10th year in the media this year congratulations thank you congratulations. and um, I've always wanted to pursue you know something a bit more niche I suppose and it just felt so natural to me being this person who loves to dress up, who just loves to be zany and express myself and, you know, to teach people or just to also show other women who are doing all of these things but who don't look in a certain way like the world expects them to look. So right. it was just natural. It was a natural, natural progression. Okay. And how has the reception been so far? Um, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, you also get a lot of people who just congratulate you without really knowing why they're congratulating me, but it's all love. <laughs> so I accept it. I love it. Um, it's nice to be supported, even though they don't really know, but you know, all the chairs, everything adds up. Um, it's nice to have that. People have been really supportive. Um, surprisingly, actually, very supportive. You yourself are one of the people, you know, that we would thank in the... <laughs> at my eulogy when I'm gone <laughs> at 114. Um, yes, you'll be up there. Thank you, we'll be thanking you, we'll be written out there. And um, so many people, it's just so many things to be thankful for. Yeah. 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 So what's ATCL's message to the world? Now, not just to plus size people, because I see, I see some of your posts sometimes and some of your articles, it's, 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 it's basically to word of ignorance. And mm. again, to build self-confidence. Mm -hmm. But what what is the message to the world? To me, to everyone else? Um, I, I, I think it carries many messages. It's core, like I said much earlier, being um, just 
empowering people and knowing that you are not alone. There are so many people who, who you, you, you're not alone in how you look or in how you think you appear to the world. And um, you're, you're not silent. We hear you, we see you. We are speaking for you and hoping that you can see us and also join, you know, put your hand up, you know, and let's all hold hands okay. because it's important to have a support system. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you are, where you're from, you know, it's important to have people who you feel like you have something in, in common, common with, yeah. you know. So we're now, we're, I mean, we're here and we're Nigerian and we're African and we're black, but then you now have, have women who look like you. You know, sometimes I feel like, I, I never really know um, how different I feel, how I look until I'm sitting or I'm in the midst of other curvy women and I'm just like, God, we are <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We're just <laughs> awesome okay. looking people. So at what size do you become plus size or curvy? At what size do we join your I'll movement? Be, I'll, be down, <laughs> I'll be down if I know, you know? If you feel like your butt is in the way, just like hit us up, you know? If you feel like you're blocking one person too many, <laughs> give me a call. <laughs> Holla. <laughs> Coming up on Astoria Scene. You know, but it occurs to me that you know if everybody's single, I mean guys be slim because be slim, everybody, everybody be slim, be we live in a slim world, everybody just be happy, you know. We're taking a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Series. I'm here with Latasha Ngubi and we're talking health and the curvy movement. So I feel like, and I know I've been saying a lot of my feels, I guess. You should say yes, it's as you as see, as see, as I see, as mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah, thank you, up top. <laughs> okay, but a lot of women, plus size women, get the negative comments. So a guy gets married, puts mm. on weight, and is like, oh, your wife is taking care of you. A woman gets married and puts on with this, mm -hmm, she's relaxing. Because she has gotten married, she's relaxing. How can we deal with this? Don't get married. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, no. I'm very pleased. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really joking. Okay. You know? But it occurs to me that you know, if everybody's single, I mean, guys be slim, girls be slim, everybody, everybody be slim. Be we live in a slim world. Everybody just be happy. <laughs> You know? <laughs> okay, no, but for real. How do we deal with this? How do we how do we stop this negative bashing against women? I don't know. I, I don't I really don't have the answers. I mean, how can we be trying to fix what is what we think is broken in another person's home? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's, that's trying to get into the dynamics of human yeah, relationships. Maybe. We can't. So People will always speak, unfortunately. Also, women also get flack when they're too thin. True. Victoria Beckham, you know, um, what's Juliana her name? Rassic. Chrissy, Juliana Rasik, um, Chrissy Teigen. That's like, they go on forever. You know, you will never make people happy. Just do you. Do you, do what's comfortable for you. Do what speaks to your relationship. And if your partner doesn't like it, you guys need to have a relationship where you can communicate in a way that doesn't hurt the next person's feelings, you know? So if she's working out at the gym and he's putting on weight, is she not allowed to say something as wife to her husband? You know, it's, it's, it's a personal thing, but fix it inwards. Just communicate mm. and everybody else butt out. So there are studies that have linked um, self-confidence mm. with good, or good self-confidence with good me mental health. Ooh. Yes, so like for those who do not have enough self-confidence, they fall into depression and then it leads to all sorts of things. Like mm -hmm. people are jumping off bridges these days, God help us. But how have you managed to stay self-confident? <sighs> it's a daily battle, you know. I wish I could say I took a pill every day and just like Popeye spinach, you know. No, there are days when I am at rock bottom myself because I'm human. And, um, you know, these things really, yes, you're right, how you feel about yourself really plays a very large role in, you know, how you see life, I suppose, and your, ment your state of mind. You know, I guess, um, I just try to take it one day at a time. I draw, uh, you know, I, I take comfort in knowing that I'm a human being and there's only so much I can do. But um, I pray. I find that praying really does help and, but, 
I, I, I can't really tell you that I'm the person who remembers to pray at a certain time every morning, you know. But I find that being thankful, staying in a very thankful state of mind every day, every single day, I wake up and I just keep saying thank you to my maker through everything, doesn't matter what's going on. I've made a habit of saying thank you, it helps me. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I've thankful. learned something. I mean, mm -hmm. when next I need to talk to somebody about boosting their self-confidence, tell them, be thankful. Yes. Have a thankful state of mind. If you can't, just simply write out 10 things you're thankful you. for. Like, it doesn't matter how stupid. Thank you, God, that I ate jollof rice yesterday. You know, thank you that Nepa brought light at 10 p.m. before I could go to bed. Right. Thank you that I didn't burn my shirt, <laughs> even though the iron is acting up. It's the silly things. It's those little things that actually really make such a huge difference, you know, in your mood, in how you're going to, you know, take how your day will start. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Imagine you walk out and then your shoe just gives way. You know, it's those little things that just shake you. So when, you know, you go past those little things, just be so thankful that it just powers me on to the next thing. I love and it. And next thing I know, the day is done. I love and it. And I'm thankful. I love it. Thank mm -hmm. you for being here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're most, thank you for having me, Toyo C. Okay, we're going on another break. When we come back, you'll get my final thoughts. Welcome back to Astoria Seas, and it will not be Astoria Seas if you don't know what I'm saying. So my take is live and let live. Okay, if you don't have something good to say to somebody, don't say anything at all. I read somewhere about a woman who had a thyroid infection and she says she simply cannot lose weight because of that condition. So not every plus size person you see lacks self-control. Not every plus size person you see is unhealthy. And you have to understand that regardless of how anyone looks, they may be ill. So you see somebody who looks like, oh my God, a UK, what, six? I don't know what the ideal size is these days, but that person has like a heart condition or has diabetes or has something. So you cannot judge a book by its color. Over. There's so much hate in this world, like we can make the world better by just being kind to one another. Stop the bullying, stop the pointing out stuff that is not your business. Let's just love each other, okay? Regardless of how you look, skinny, thin, fat, short, tall, we're one guys, we're one, okay? Thank you so much for being on this. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show, Latasha. <laughs> Thank you, Toyosi Ramini. Thank you guys for <laughs> watching. You can stay engaged with the show by following us on social media at Astoyosis on Twitter and Instagram. Make someone's life better today. See you next time. Bye. This is Astoyosis and my name is Toyosi Phillips. Thank you for watching.